So when it comes to telescope accessories and eyepieces, the personal eyepiece collection, I often get asked the question, um, what exactly does one need in order to be flexible and um, be prepared for almost um, every viewing situation uh, one might encounter? And my answer is um, always the same. It's fewer items than you might think and then list the actual items. So in order to give you guys a, an example about what items, what eyepieces, what telescope accessories you need in order to be prepared for almost any situation when you're outside observing the night sky, I thought about making a short video where um, I simply show you what equipment pieces I am currently using. So yeah, without further ado, let's uh, get it started. Hi, I'm Bogdan Damian and welcome to Video Observatory. If you're new to my channel, I like to talk about astronomy equipment. So if you're looking for this type of information, then hit that like button and subscribe. If you are already familiar with my videos and like them, but haven't subscribed yet, then maybe consider doing so, so you don't miss out on new content. Here we have the storage case that I'm using. It's the PicTech 7305 and I like it very much. If you want to know more about this case, I encourage you to check out my review of this case after this video. So let's get on with the contents of this storage case. Here comes the 32mm Swan eyepiece from Omegon. This eyepiece came with my 12-inch Prodab from Omegon and I love it. It surprised me with a great build quality and sharp views with high contrast. I really enjoy the wide views it offers. Next, I have here a small cutout for some small items like a soft cleaning brush so I can remove eyelashes or bigger foreign objects that might have collected on the lenses of my eyepieces during observation sessions. A fine microfiber cloth for cleaning my eyeglasses. I don't like to use it to clean the eyepiece lenses because at night you don't see if there are any sand grains or solid particles on the surface. And if I try to clean the lens with a microfiber cloth, then this will definitely scratch the lens. So I better do this during the day when I can exactly see what's there on the lens. There is also an eye patch, so I don't have to strain my non-observing eye by constantly keeping it shut. It also keeps the eye completely in the dark, so when I switch to that eye, faint objects look a lot brighter. There is also a small bag with silica to absorb any moisture when the case is closed. This is something you typically find in the box when you buy electronics, so it's nothing fancy. Next is my trusted 2x bellow lens from Teleview. It's a superb bellow that I like because when I'm using it, the view quality doesn't suffer from the extra added lenses to the optical system. It's like it's not even there. And it's also compatible with every telescope and one and a quarter inch eyepiece I had up until now. To the right comes my laser collimator. Having a Dapsonian telescope, collimating it is a must. I usually collimate my telescope during the day inside my house. But after taking my telescope outside and once it had time to get to ambient temperature, I like to check one more time if everything is perfectly aligned. And here come two of my favorite filters. First is a variable polarization filter. It lets you adjust the opacity so that the brightness of the object you're viewing is just right in order for your eye to see the maximum amount of detail. It's especially useful for planetary observations when I observe bright objects like the Moon, Jupiter or Saturn. And second, here is a UHC or ultra high contrast filter for filtering out unwanted wavelengths of light when observing the night sky. It is especially useful for faint DSOs as this filter allows only the visual light from DSOs to pass through, blocking everything else, thus making DSOs look brighter and with more contrast. And here on the bottom row, I keep my one and a quarter inch eyepieces. The first one is the first eyepiece I actually bought, I think 10 years ago. 
it's the 6mm ultra wide angle from Tess Optics. What I like about this eyepiece is that it's an inexpensive eyepiece but with some decent optics. The views to it are sharp and bright. It's a much better eyepiece than the standard ones my old 8 inch Dobsonian telescope from Skywatcher came with. And as much as I like this eyepiece, I think I'm going to upgrade it in the near future. Maybe a Teleview Delight will take its place. Next comes my currently main planetary eyepiece, the 9mm Delight from Teleview. This is one of the best eyepieces for planetary viewing I had the pleasure to look through. The views through this eyepiece are bright, sharp and have great contrast. It also plays very nicely with the 2x bellow lens that I mentioned before. I can only recommend it. And the last item in my case is my 24mm panoptic eyepiece from Teleview. This is my favorite eyepiece for observing deep sky objects. As with other Teleview eyepieces, it offers bright and very sharp views with high contrast. It also has the perfect focal length with a one and a quarter inch form factor and with a 68 degree apparent field of view. This also makes it compatible with almost any telescope and telescope accessory. I highly recommend this one. I often use it in combination with my 2x Bello that I mentioned before to obtain a 12mm eyepiece focal length. So as you can see, you don't need a lot of eyepieces or accessories to enjoy this hobby. I believe that having three good eyepieces, one for low, for medium and one for high power views, a decent Bello lens and one or two filters is certainly enough so that you are prepared for almost any situation when you are outside with a telescope. And if you are new to this hobby, then I suggest you start small and with relatively inexpensive items. This will leave you room to upgrade later on when you grow with this hobby. With time you will understand more and more and form your own opinions about what you can and want to use in terms of equipment pieces and then you can plan and upgrade accordingly. Now that I've shown you guys what items I'm currently using, I'm curious to find out what uh, eyepieces and accessories you are using during your observing sessions. Let me know in the comments below. All right, that's been it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and also subscribe to my channel. If you have questions or feedback, please leave a comment and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching and catch you guys next time.